I always recommend just starting with a simple dear and then um, insert the teacher's name. Um, so there is maybe some debate about whether hi is appropriate. Um, I think it depends on your relationship with your um, with your teacher. If it's someone you you already know well and you have um, a good working relationship, then um, then you can be a little bit more casual. But I think when in doubt, or especially at the beginning of a class, it's better to err on the side of being a little bit more formal. <laughs> and so um, let's see some options that you've probably heard about at SBA might include um, so, Mr. Um, Ms. Um, doctor, if the person has a, um, a PhD, um, in a college or university setting, um, professor um, might also make sense. Um, again, I think the, the key is to um, use the title that people um, want you to use, and I think like when in doubt um, for um, an address for a female teacher, um, um, Ms. Is, um, is probably more, um, um, probably safer unless you know that the teacher prefers something else is sometimes students will send an email that feels like a text message. So it will be just one kind of unpunctuated stream of consciousness. And um, and I sometimes describe that as getting an email that feels like a ransom note. And so you don't want the person receiving your email already to feel threatened by whatever you're trying to say. Um, it, it really depends on your relationship with the person. Um, I, I think, again, just Safest, simplest thing to do is just to sign your name by um, by itself. But um, but depending on the occasion, depending on your relationship, you can um, express some other other feelings through the way that you sign off. I think the most important thing is just that you have your name at the end. Mm -hmm. I'm first of all a huge supporter of people sending thank you notes, um, um, and so and of course there are different situations when you might want to send um, a thank you note. In some cases, email is totally appropriate. In other cases, I think something handwritten like a card is more appropriate. So I think if you um, just want to, I can just spread a little positive energy into the world, it's always appropriate to email, um, I mean, certainly a teacher, but um, but really anyone just to express gratitude for something that they did. And so again, as usual, just send some, you know, some sort of greeting like dear, um, whoever it is. Um, and um, I just simply, you know, I just wanted to thank you for helping me with um, uh, my, um, my essay, or I wanted to um, thank you for writing a recommendation for my college application, um, whatever it is. And um, I think if you um, can go into some specificity about um, why their help was so um, was so uh, meaningful to you, I think that's always appreciated. I think people in general tend not to take the time to express gratitude, and whenever we we do, again, it's just spreading positive energy out. It makes um, I think when when I send thank you notes, I end up feeling better just having sent it so um so it's i think an investment in um in well-being